Hi everybody and welcome back to Nellie and Ruth Designs. Burr, it is still really, really cold in the North Country here. Again, it was eight below zero. Um, but you know what? I decided that I'm not going, that cold is not going to get me down. And I went out for a really nice walk today. I texted, um, sent a text. I don't like the word texted. What about you? Do you like the word texted? I don't like saying texted. I sent a text message to my neighbor and I asked her if she was up to it. I know she's having a few problems with her back. Um, and we're supposed to be getting a large snowstorm tomorrow. And I guess the storm's name is Izzy. And that's the name of Char's beautiful, beautiful black golden doodle is Izzy. And, um, Neither one of us could actually imagine why such a terrible storm would be named after such a sweet dog. Um, but we had a little chuckle over that this morning. But we took a really nice walk on our mountain road. And I bundled up and it was just good to be outside again. So I'm hoping the temperatures this week will become a little milder after we get this storm and I really I am getting psyched about getting out on a mountain again um so yeah I took a, a nice warm shower when I got home I've got myself a nice hot cup of coffee here and I have my Jojo journal I want to do a page create a page in there today so I'd love to have you join along with me craft along watch um, do whatever you want. If you just want to have me on in the background, that's fine. But I'd love to have you join in. Um, I want to thank everybody for watching, commenting. And um, yeah, so we will get to it. Um, I told my husband, he's downstairs working, hmm, working on his Porsche Lego um, that he got for Christmas. So he's downstairs working on that. And I just had a house full of boys. They've left. and. Um, my next project after this, which I will gladly take my time with this, is I'm going to get my accordion folder and pull out all of 2021's receipts and go through my checkbooks and start to get things ready for my accountant and decide what's going to get shredded and what I'm going to keep. So I told my husband I'd go down and keep him company while he works on his Lego so, um, I don't know if you follow along with, and then I'll stop talking and we'll start creating, but I don't know if you follow along with Liz over, she has an Instagram account called Buttons for Brains, and I just adore her. I love the way her mind works, and I highly recommend her YouTube channel and her Instagram account. Um, she's over in Scotland and she tells the best stories. I wish we were neighbors so we could collaborate and craft together. Hi, Liz, if you're watching, I just adore everything that she does. She does fantastic collage work and I'm learning from her and I'm getting ideas from her because you could, there's, you can just learn so much from just a, a, one thing that somebody may do, and I am learning so much from Liz. She's very inspirational, and I really, she does out-of-the-box projects, and that's why I'm so drawn to her. Um, I, too, am trying to do out-of-the-box projects, things that, um, you know, just away from the normal tags and ephemera and junk journals and things like that. So I watched a video that Liz recently did, and it was on her altered playing cards. She's doing a challenge, and I apologize, but I just, I need a little warmth in me, so I'm going to be sipping on this in a little bit. So she's doing a challenge, and I don't know if each challenge is with playing cards, but she did one the other day that just blew my mind away, and I just fell in love with it. And she used hands, and her hands were in different directions. She got them out of a um, collage book and they were holding butterflies. And in my graphic novel book here, 
um, Jojo Bizarre Adventures, there are pages where there are hands shown. And it kind of gave me an idea. I kind of knew what I wanted, but when I saw this hand right here, I'm like, oh, I have got to use it. And there was another hand that I wanted to use. So I'm following along with Liz and she's encouraged me and inspired me to look for some hands and use on a page or in some sort of collage. So I, yesterday I did a master board and I have a wonderful stamp set here by um, Fun, Journey, Fun Stamper's Journey and it has the Eiffel Tower. And if you go back and you watch my master board video, um, I used these stamps for part of the collaging on the master board. And then I, ha I had another idea. So I'm going to run with it. So I guess it is a collaboration between Liz and I. So this is the page. Um, this is a signature where I have this pocket. I have a uh, tutorial on this which I just love. So this page here, because my journal here is Paris-based, because Rohan, or Ruhan, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, he is at the Louvre looking for a painting, a specific painting. So this is, I'm trying to keep a Paris theme with this anime, um, JoJo's Bizarre Adventures, Rohan at the Louvre. Um, book that I'm using. So I had found some images yesterday that I, I cut out and I wanted to use. So this image here, I'll put it over here, obviously was a corner section and it was of um, the, the woman in the page. She was looking up. And this hand here was where I had found it in my book. And I cut this hand out and I thought it would be really cool. I'm trying to be a little more artsy fartsy here. I thought it would be really cool to have that hand kind of like holding, holding her neck and head up. So I have that here. And then I have, this was the other piece from another section. This hand here, actually this hand was coming down at the other part and grabbing. These two hands were going towards each other. So I separated them and I wanted to use this at the top of my page. And then this little piece here of the um, Japanese tree. I have one of these. It's a Japanese dwarf maple. So I cut this out. And I know I, I knew I wanted to use this somehow. So what I came up with is I, I want to put this up in the corner because I like, I'm trying to make a little scene here. And I think it will come out just fine. Um, so I'm going to move this part of the signature just so it's not in the way and I can just work with this here. Um, so this here, this part here, I want up in the upper left-hand corner, okay? As a matter of fact, I'm going to move all of this so it's not in the way here. Um, because I want to try to create a scene where the tree is kind of in front of the Eiffel Tower. And then I stamp this in such a way where I'm having the Eiffel Tower come up and out. Now I have to be mindful of where the signature will be sewn in of this crease here. Um, so this Eiffel Tower is going to be coming up out of her head, out of her brain, out of her whatever. I just think that be that's just really cool. And then I'm going to take, this must be Rohan's hand, and I'm either going to, I, I want him reaching for the Eiffel Tower. So I will be moving this back a smidgen, and I will trim that off there. So I'm going to get 
hard. I'm not going to get this glued down yet, but this is the premise of my page. And I think it's just going to look really, really cool. And I figured because it's JoJo's B Bizarre Adventures, I really want to try. I'm not saying these are bizarre, but I want to collage out of my comfort zone. I want to really challenge myself. Um, I want to make this a true collaged art journal for myself. So as I flip the pages, and this book is going to be used quite often, um, like this one here. I love, I have a, a uh, video on this. I absolutely love this page here. And this I did with the die cuts and the watercolor. So I'm trying to be, a, like I said, a little more artsy-fartsy with this book and challenge myself to really come up with some unique ideas for all of you just to get you to think in a little different manner. So in the past, I have created, I've taken vintage um, photos of women from Clairol ads um, out of old like Family Circle magazines, and I've adorned their head with flowers. Um, these are German, these are Germans, they're called German stickers, and I have quite a few different sheets of these. I have fairies, I have the flowers, I have butterflies. And while I was looking for these, I found this butterfly, which I think is just perfect because of the black. I'm using more black in these pages as well, because that's kind of the premise of the book. So I also wanted to put this butterfly somewhere. I just think the butterfly might be really nice here in that area. So what I want to do is I want to have flowers um, around her and kind of coming up around the Eiffel Tower, um, springing life out of her. And so I thought that's what I would work on today. And I'm really, really, really enjoying um, the, using this book. Um, I don't know how many of you are familiar with graphic novels, um, with anime. And I just think the artwork is absolutely beautiful. Um, so I just thought it would be, my son encouraged me to create a, um, a Jojo junk journal. So, and I'm glad that I listened to him. I'm glad that I did that. because it really does um, move your mind. It just really kind of makes you do things that you normally wouldn't do. You have to, you know, you just have to think in a different direction. Um, sometimes you know, and I've spoken about this before, it's a lot of the way you dress. Um, you know, when you go into a store and you say, oh, I want something new and different to wear. Um, but you end up buying the same thing, the, the same color. If you have a tendency to be, you know, to wear black, um, you know, you sometimes just have a tendency to continue to buy those black slacks or black corduroys. Um, and I think with art, you know, or junk journals, you know, sometimes you do have the same tendency to, well, you know, I'm going to make another junk journal and, 
you know, what kind of ephemera can I do? Or is it going to be the, you know, same old um, digital download? Is it going to be the same theme as I've done in the past? And I don't know about you, but sometimes I, I need a change. I just get bored. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, but I still enjoy you know, watching gals that, you know, they kind of do the same thing over and over because I'm, I'm still learning. I'm definitely, I have a lot to learn yet. I've only been doing collage art and, um, junk journal pages or junk journals for a year now and I there's certainly a lot of stuff that I still I have to learn about um different terminology okay so the reason I'm taking a pause and looking at this I want I need smaller I need smaller flowers. Um, you know, I'm still learning about bindings, um, different bindings that you can have, different ways to attach pages. And, you know, and sometimes I'm just trying to figure it out on my own too. What what works for me? And I think you have to really, you know, I don't ever want anybody to get discouraged because you don't have a sewing machine and you can't, um, you know, you see, I, I do use my machine a lot for stitching, but I don't want you to ever get discouraged because if you don't have a machine to stitch and you want something to look like it's been stitched on, you can take your marker and you can make a zigzag all the way down. Or you could make crisscrosses to make it look like you did some counted cross stitch. So I think, you know, in that respect, that's when um, you can really put your imagination to use. And make it your own. Um, and that's what I, I try to do. And my channel is what I try to do for my viewers. Is to inspire you to do something different. And at the same time, make it your own. Because um, everybody has different style. You... Um, you know, another gal that I watch, um, tape and twine, Michelle, she's out of New Hampshire and she does a whole series called, um, tea, tea with me or tea and me and she'll grab her cup of tea and she'll do a nice chat and she's very informative. She will show you maybe a project that she's working on. Um, she will give you resources where to buy things and if I've, if I've had a really hectic day, um, I'll look. She doesn't post a lot, but I'll look to see if Michelle has made a new video. And I do. I grab a cup of tea. I sit down. I listen to her chat. I've learned so much by just listening. Um, and I'm thankful for Michelle and her tape and twine uh, with her channel, too, because she has a very soothing way about her, and um, she's presented things that I haven't even thought of. So there's a lot out there, and there's a lot for you to learn. There's a lot that I still have to learn about, and I think it's all wonderful. 
So I'm thinking that this is going to be enough flowers. I don't want, I want that Eiffel Tower to shine and be part of the, um, the focal point. So I think as far as flowers, I think this will be, this is going to be good. I think we're all set there. Now I'd like to have some sort of wording or a saying over here. Um, there's really nothing that I think, I don't think there's anything that I can take out of the book. If I could find something, let me grab the book. If I could find a really cool saying similar now this here, this says um, that 10 years went by without me realizing it. Um, maybe there's something there that I could take out. I just have the book over here. I'm just going to flip through for a minute. Um, maybe something about time. Or... Let's see here. The other thing I could, although I kind of like that picture. There's some really cool birds here. I could cut them out and they could be flying across. But I also have Rohan on this side. I don't know if I would use him. So I'm going to just kind of look this up. If I wanted to use his face, I could still use his face because as I'm looking through, and again, these are just um, pointers for you. So if you have a page, you know, just kind of hold it up. I can see the birds. There's one bird here, a bird here, and a bird here. Um, so if I cut this bird here, it's going to cut into this book. I could cut this bird here. I could cut this one out and this one out. Um, Cause they would be cool flying across the page. I don't know if I would, I could always use this in a collage. Um, Let's see. I thought I had a plain piece of paper here. I think I will. I think it might be cool if I try these birds. I'm going to. And the other thing I could have done is I could have. Um, cut one or I mean, I could have scanned them in my scanner and then run them off. So this will be cut here, but I'm going to just cut this one out before I go chopping and hacking with the others because this may not even fit the bill. I have a feeling though it might be kind of cool. And you can see how quickly ideas change because what did I do? I went in there looking for a saying, right? And now I'm cutting out a bird with the thought of these birds flying past the Eiffel Tower. I'm going to use these scissors right here just to... I can see here, sometimes these lights get in my way. Okay. So if we remove that butterfly,
think we have a bird here. Yeah, I think this would be kind of cool. I'm going to go for it. And... I think these will be cool. And just so you know how my mind works, sometimes I can't figure it out. But So while I'm cutting these birds out, I'm constantly thinking to myself, a good saying to put down here. Um, I'm trying to think what would she be thinking? Is she looking at the hand? At the top? Or is she looking at the birds? Flying across. Um, what is the what is the message? And what is the What's the message that comes to my mind? What is the message that comes to my mind with all of this? And I am going to distress around these birds because it's a little too much white showing for me. Okay. All right, so we have those birds. I still like that butterfly. I'd like to... Maybe I can incorporate it on the next page or with something else. So I'm going to um, just add a little bit of darken these up a little bit. And then I think on these I will use my I will use my Wink Estella and add a little bit of highlight to them after I get them down. Um, and let's see, I'm going to have to... I don't know if there's anything that... Something maybe about the Louvre. Um, where they're having a conversation. Something about the Louvre. And I may end up putting something else in there as well. I may have to, I may have to think about this. Um, because I'm really not finding anything that would go with that. So 
let us, let me, let me get this glued down now. And um, I think I will start up here. So I will be using my art glitter glue. because of all these little jagged tree leaves down here. I want to get that right in. I'm going to use my tweezers just so I Get it where I want it. Like my hands don't get all gunked up. Okay. And then this we are going to cut back a little bit because I just want that reaching right about there. Just about there touching. That tower. And just a little bit more. I'm just taking little baby snippets because I don't want it to. There we go. So we are getting this large snowstorm. Of course, you know, when I grew up, this was the norm, uh, eight to 12 inches at any given time. Now it's, oh, it's a big deal. Um, you know, you'd think there was a, tr like the tropical storms coming in or an Alberta clipper or what was the other thing that we used to, they used to call uh, when there was some pretty big storms that came. Uh, but now it's, I mean, when I was a kid growing up, eight to 12 inches was no big deal. I mean, we, we couldn't wait for that to come. Now it's like, oh gosh, you know, everybody's running scared. They go to the grocery store and stock up for weeks and, you know, the sun will be out before you know it and It'll be warm again and beautiful. But we do need, we do need a, a good blanket of snow for, you know, snowshoeing. And um, it's been cold enough. So all of our ski resorts, especially the ones over in Vermont, Killington and Pico, Stratton, Okemo, did I say Okemo, Stowe. It's definitely been cold enough, and, and they're in a higher elevation, so they can make snow, um, and they'll have a good base. But you have to have, you have to have, I don't know if you're a skier, you really have to have a good base of natural snow underneath for conditions to be really, really good. Um, I never liked skiing on man-made snow. I always like that good base of natural snow, but I guess it doesn't really matter. It's, um, but our, our local ski centers could really use, use this storm because it's just that right about there. I guess I'm going to have to put that there now, huh? Because once I have it, you can't move it. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on, but I'm not going to seal the top um, just yet because I want to make sure that if I'm going to have any German sticker overlapping. I want to make sure I have enough. 
I have enough good room to tuck it, tuck it down in here. So, all right, so we have that on. So this is where I need to really pay attention. And I think I will put that on there like that. like that yeah I didn't want that big leaf over her mouth and now I will just put a little bit I'll put a little bit under there and if I have a little bit too much I brush it back I don't brush it this way if I brush it this way the glue will come over on this paper so I just kind of brush it back, back towards the piece itself. And then how'd I have this one? Did I have it like this? Yeah, I think that will be good with that green coming up. Okay, so we will get this here. And I just want to overlap it like this. Because I want that towards the, I want that going up around the tower there. Okay. And do I need to put any little bit of glue here? So I think I have all of that down. Okay. And let's get this. Let's see. What am I going to do here? How about that, like that there? I think that will be fine there. Okay, all right. All right, so I'm just going to take a quick break. I'm going to see what I have for other sayings. And um, we'll be back and I'll, I'll get something right here in this area. All right, so I went through my Tim Holtz books here. It took me a little bit to decide. Um, and I didn't need to waste your time. But I found in the Tim Holtz ideology, the small talk, um, this one here. Yeah, this is just small talk. All right. It's not the snarky. Um, I thought this would be really well in keeping. Keep some room in your heart for the unimaginable. Um, so I added that. I just cut, that was a longer one. I just snipped it in half and put it there. And now I'm going to use my Wink Estella on the birds. And then I think we'll use a little bit here on, uh, the trees just to give it a little shimmer and shine now this is the gold that i don't think i'm going to use the gold today this was the new one that i got i'm just going to use uh, the regular shimmer here and i'm going to just touch a little bit here put some on the birds here just to make them pop just a little bit and I think you can see it you can kind of see how they do shimmer a little bit okay it's not there's just very subtle 
and it does just enhance them a little bit and it gives them just a little glossy shiny area and I'm going to do the same over here to the Japanese maple I'll just do some of the darker areas here Just to give it a little. And sometimes the lights here are so bright that you can't really, you can't really see um, the accents until they are turned off and it's dried. But I will do my best to show you. If you can see. You see a little bit of a shine there. It may not show up really well, like I said, with the lights. I've used these before, and I've showed you the... But you can kind of see here the little shimmer. See, there's a, as it dries, it shimmers a little bit. Shimmers a little bit more. So I just added that little finishing touch to that. And this page is done. So we're going to put the signature back together. This is going to be on this side here. Um, and I really like another page that is completed in the book. A really pretty collaged area. I'm still bound and determined to use this little butterfly. I may just, maybe I'll just pop this over here on this page. Um, I can finish this page off here because this is just going to be a, a journaling page for me um, to do just that, journal on and write on. And maybe I could get a little, I've got my little Paris washi tape. Maybe I'll just add a little Paris down the side here, and I'll add that butterfly, and then this, this page will be done. So we could put that like that. And then we will take the butterfly. And we can add that butterfly just like that. And then this page will have a nice little accent to it. And I've got to use the butterfly. And we will put that right there. We'll put that right there like that. Okay. There. There. So these two pages are done. There. All right. So there you have it. We have another page in my JoJo uh, Bizarre Adventure Journal, and I really like this. I think it's fun. Um, I just think it's something different. It's unique. Thank you, Liz, for inspiring me to work with some hands, and um, I have you to thank for this page. Um, you're, you really are a great inspiration to me. I admire your work, and you help me continue to think out of the box. So, Thank you, my dear friend, and um, I will see everyone in, in my next video. All right, everybody. Bye-bye.